Excuse me. Get this. Ah, uh, friend, that is a very unique item. I'll give you a discount. $500. <laughs> Are you kidding? I don't even know if it's real. Give you 50 bucks for it. $400, and it's real. I'd other buyers interested in that piece. Come on, man. Uh, $200, okay? That's all I have on. I cannot possibly part with it for less than $300. That is my final offer. Uh, I'll take it. 300. Nay. Really? Done. You see that? That's how you hang. <laughs> if you say so. Excuse me? I saw Delis here. She's a little shit. I'm going to take a Want me to buy you one of these? Sully, you gotta be crazy to wear a shirt like that. Ah, crazy handsome. Oh, man. Something smells really good. Yeah, I'm in through. Excuse me. Hey, here we go. Locked. Guess we're gonna have to sneak in. Discreetly. Implied by the use of the word sneak. So. Hey, check it out. That window over there is broken. Hey, Sully. I think we can squeeze through here. That'll work. <clears throat> Jesus. Long way down. <sighs> You okay back there? You keep your pace. I'll keep mine. Yeah, well, at least you got a great view, right? <clears throat> okay, let's see what we got. Wow. This place is in much better shape than the other towers. Edward England's sigil, just like the map said. So what are we looking for? Good question. Is a very tall clock tower. Yes. Yes, it is. Hmm. Now, what do you bet? Looks like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in this city. Well, no reason to wait. A 
I'll be right back. to get tangled in those gears up there. You bet. <sighs>
Let's see here. Fun. Wow, this is a nice view. No, 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 
no, no. Jesus. Okay, Sully, I made it! This is gonna be loud! Sully, heads up! Sorry! The handle broke! Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one way to do it. You all right? I don't know yet. You? Deaf? Come on. Let's see what Avery has in store. All right. Sure, why not? Let's see what's down here. Fingers crossed for piles of gold and jewels. Sam, finally, you okay? Just search my town, I, I got nothing. Yeah? No. We're definitely in the right place. Make your way over here. Are you serious? Uh, okay, I'm on my way. He's coming. Good. Sully. Way ahead of you. Whoa. Hey, are those our boys? Yep. Henry Avery, Thomas too. Partners in crime. Founders. Founders of what? Worst scavenger hunt ever? <laughs> there are Avery and two sigils. These are a little different, though. Yeah. They got those star patterns on them. They turn, but which way are they supposed to go? Just a second. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonnie, and uh, Christopher Condent. I mean, there's, there's too many permutations. I say we see where that door leads. Still hoping for some treasure, yeah? You and me both. Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonnie, and Condent. Splendid. But why are they here in the first place? Well, let's find out. Oh, that mustache. 
It's almost as impressive. Hey, look at these stars. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Yeah, you're right. Ah, uh, that's right. Content went by Billy One Hand. Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. See, I'm not just a pretty face. What do you think? Those Avery and Two sigils. The stars on those lined up, remember? I bet these line up, too. Hmm. That's, um, they are, uh... You don't know, do you? Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. Would you... Give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. Text a brother. There. You know, these are actually some nice paintings. If we don't find the treasure, maybe we could sell them to a museum. Well, let's find those star patterns. Okay, just saying. William Mays. American? Here we go. Hey, you still in the tower? Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Are Richard Want, the Trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. Just stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. But Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet. But I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. Books, globe. This Want guy looks like a scholar. Hey, Richard Want. He was the captain of the Dolphin. Whew. Looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. Is it straight? Who the hell cares? Well, I care. God, look at Farrell's face. Looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. Hmm. 
there. here uh you know i'm honestly shocked you don't know this stuff no i i do i just want to make sure sam knows you know because he likes to feel useful that's all aha uh -huh. of course shit what happened here a uh, torch probably fell or something come on let's see what's left i don't recognize this guy looks a lot younger than the other pirates one. Oh, Sam texted me back. Nah, see there, Sully? Turns out Sam doesn't know everything either. Gloating is unseemly. Yeah, I know. Let's just look at the paintings. Huh. No name. This guy's get-up looks Moorish. Found the stars, but who are you? Huh. Yazid al Basra. Looks Indian. Close. Muggle. Wait, not the muggles, the ones Avery robbed? Honor among thieves. <laughs> yeah, like that's ever the case. Edward England. Stout little fellow. I got the names of two of them. We should still be able to figure this out. Not sure yet. Maybe send it to Sam? Really? Hey, you're the one who said he's the pirate expert. Just saying. Okay, that's one. And two. Last one. All right, let's see what he makes of them. You know, that kind of looks... Huh. What are you doing? You just took pictures. Hold that. You know, Avery's recruits wouldn't have had smartphones, obviously. Obviously. So this would have been the only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Yeah, let me see. Voila. <laughs> oh, all right. These could be trade winds. Yeah, and these look like latitudes, yeah. and I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? 
Prodeus called Licentia. Oh, no, it can't be. Can't be what? Oh, my God, it's so obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am. I'm calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? Hey, Rafe. <laughs> been a long time. How did you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> well, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner... Well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow. Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. And I'm willing to forgive and forget. For old times' sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus Quo Licentia, Forgotten Liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll accept my offer. What's it gonna be? Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I really gotta take this call, so... Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate! What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty. Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now. And destroy your phone. What's going on? Rafe knows where we are. We gotta find some place to hide. Sam? Sam! Damn it. Hey! Buy a new one. I think that's Sam's tower. Oh, it's definitely Sam's tower. Come on. This way. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. How long do you think before Rafe gets here? <laughs> Let's not stick around to find out. Sorry, pal. Come on, down here, Nate. Nate, look out! Shit! Everyone out of the way!
Having fun yet?
No blimmin' way he could have survived that. Why chance it? It's not good. Holy shit, he's still alive! Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. I think the coast is clear. Yeah. All right. Pro Deus Cor Licentia. This looks like a simple cipher. Forgotten liberty. I mean, it's their damn motto. All the paradise references. I can't believe we missed it. See you two made it out, okay? Way better than okay. We found Libertalia. <laughs> Liber... Liber what are ya? Libertalia. Seems Avery founded the legendary pirate colony. Uh, it's more of a pirate utopia, really. Okay, but what about the treasure? See, as the story goes, this place provided a safe haven for hundreds, maybe even thousands of pirates, and they, they shared everything. Property, resources... Money? And they kept it all in one common treasury building. Okay. So, where is this... Kami Pirate Sanctuary. Right here. That island, just northeast of Kings Bay. Hey, hey, hey. Rafe has a copy of this. Yeah, well, by the time Rafe figures it out, we'll be well on our way to Libertalia. I'm telling you, that treasure is as good as ours. <laughs> Shit. How's the Malaysia job going, Nate? Seems like you're a hair off course. Elaine, it's... It's not what it looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is that you're searching for Henry Avery's buried treasure. 
and given the shoreline soldiers that are all over town, I'd bet you're not the only ones looking for it. All right, well, I, I guess it's kind of what it looks like. But, but I can explain. Look, it's gonna sound crazy. Try me. Well, for starters, um... This is uh, Sam. Sam Drake. My brother. Hi. I'm sorry. I, I thought he had died in a Panamanian Neat. jail, but I was obviously very wrong. He's been stuck in there for 15 years, and it's because of me. And the guy who broke him out wants a lot of money, and the only way we can pay off the debt is Avery's treasure. But, but that's the good news. We, we found it. it it's, it's on an island just off the coast. Okay, just stop. Was there ever... A Malaysia job? I... Okay. Come, on, come on, wait. Elena, wait! I don't get you. Look, I, I wanted to tell you. You know what, enough! No, I wanted to, but how could I? I don't know, just say it! I had to protect you! That is bullshit, Nate. You just didn't have the nerve to face me again. I, I knew you would react like this. How would you react? You lied to me for weeks. If you were killed, I, I wouldn't have even known about it. And now you have a brother. Who are you? Come on. I'm me. Come on, it's me. It's different this time. Oh my God. I have to save him. I don't even care about the treasure. The look on your face when you walked into this room. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. I got a plane to catch. You do what you have to do. Hey, what are you doing? Go after her. We're not done here. Well, maybe we should be. What are you saying? I'm saying maybe there's a smarter way to save Sam. Such as? Such as we give him a new identity. We, we put him in hiding somewhere. He's I got been contact. in prison for 15 years. He's not going into hiding. OK, fine. You go after your wife. Sam and I will head off for Libertalia. Without me? Come on, you'll get both of you killed. <laughs> really? <laughs> Kid, I've been doing this for a hell of a long time. I think I might be able to handle... Hey, you want to be helpful, Sullivan? Go keep an eye on her. Whatever you say. Got it. Let's go pack your bags. <laughs> 